everybody, welcome back. We've got a couple fun things to update. Number one is the uh, the custom grill. So basically all this is, I just took the stock grill and basically went to town with a pair of shears, which is these things right here. And then also use like a little bit of a Dremel just to clean some certain areas up. But uh, yeah, that's about all I had to do is just cut this piece out right here, which was originally the middle part of the grill. Not like that. But uh, yeah, just cut that out and then painted everything and turned out pretty good actually. I'm pretty happy with it. I also ended up picking up a pair of wheels, actually four of them. They are just some random like Koenig wheels, but um, I got four of them for $75 with basically new tires on them. Two of the wheels, well, let's see. The main reason is one of them was totally destroyed. Um, the other one is a little bit beat up too, but really, Really, I only needed the, the two to go in the rear as uh, mainly just drift spares for now. But um, until I find like a cooler wheel to put back there. But I'm planning on painting these ones like a chrome or at least more of like a more of a metal look so that hopefully they'll match my fronts a little bit. But um, yeah, for now they're pretty decent spec. I think they're like 18 by eight and a half, but for $75, can't really complain. Today's main project is probably going to be uh, putting some bucket seats in, well, putting a bucket seat in. I ordered some uh, used buddy club rails, so those should be showing up today. The guy on the UPS truck is actually supposed to be here in a minute, so I'm going to start pulling the stock seats out of this. Or the, I keep saying the seats, it's just one seat. But um, yeah, as you can see, this one's kind of seen better days. I'm going to save this for winter time when I'm driving around because I need those heated seats, but for now, we'll take this out and get a, the bucket seat in there. All right, we just got the seat out. I cleaned out the carpet a little bit. I gotta go find some carpet cleaner for that. But um, yeah, here's the old seat. Pretty heavy. All right, welcome to Michigan where it's snowing in May. I don't know if you can see that or not. Okay, not even 10 minutes later and it's sunny again. What the heck? Ready. We got our parts from UPS, so time to throw the brackets in and we'll get the bucket seat. It's actually the same seat that was in the Miata, but I put a black cover on it. And then get the seat in. Alright guys, it's now the next day. I had to do a little bit of a custom work last night to get the seats to fit uh, in terms of the bracket because the brackets that came didn't fit with my seat. So we got it all installed though. We have the GK Tech angle kit, like the real cheap one, the $200 one. Um, but it should work really well for our purposes. It's just kind of a, just a nice bump in angle to not be too crazy, but still uh, perform well and not be too expensive. So yeah, I got the car jacked up. 
Gonna take these wheels off and get to it. Just got back. Take a look at Tim's new wheel setup on here. We're gonna throw these brakes on. I'm gonna finish up painting my wheels and then it might be time to finally get this car back on the ground. I know they look good. Tim's uh, headed home. He's gotta, gotta clean up his garage. garage. Maybe mess with the... Oh wait, they haven't, they haven't seen it yet. Yeah, you forgot your camera last time. I know, okay, I'll, have to, I'll blur it out then.
We just went on a little test drive. Everything was great. We are now gonna go over to Tim's house, or actually we're going to, well, just I'm meeting him at his house, but we're gonna go take some pictures at uh, Oakland University, which is kind of right up the street. So I'm heading there now. All right, it's pretty late, but uh, me and Tim are here in a parking garage, about to get some uh, video.